Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Uber Lady Charlotte here. Getting ready to go to work. So I'm going to give you an early morning rambling. Today is September 28th. The day after my birthday. It's somebody else's birthday today. I think today is Bunny's birthday. I got to make sure I tell her happy birthday. Uh, anyway, um, I wanted to tell you about the about the inspection and all that stuff. Car inspection. All right, so day before yesterday, I went to a garage to get um, a car inspection. All right, so I get there, older gentleman, that's the clerk. I don't know if he owned the place or he been working there 1,500 years or what. But I get there and I say, you know, good afternoon, because I wanted to drop my car off before work. Well, while I was at work, it was kind of like across the street from the job, but not in walking distance. So anyway, um, I said, I'd like to um, get a car inspection, and then I'm going to come back and pick up my car. He said, okay, all right. So I gave him the keys and the registration, and that just took me back to the job. All right, so I come back like two hours later. My car is still sitting in the same position. Well, not actually the same position, but it's just in the bay with nobody around it. Looking like she got the measles or something. So I go inside and I said, is my car done? And he said, oh, you know what? I should have got your phone number. That's when I knew some BS was getting ready to come. I said, oh, yeah, you should have got my phone number. Now I'm thinking, it's time to be the hammer, baby, because he's getting ready to play you. He's getting ready to try to play you. He looks sweet. This man's getting ready to try to play you. So I said, so uh, what's the problem? He says, well, I looked at your back tires, and there's no way in the world you're going to pass. I said, all I did was rotate my tires a couple of weeks ago, and now my tires are no good. He said, no. I said, neither one of them. He said, no, both of them are bad. They're worn down pretty slick. Oh. They had grip on them when I bought them in here, but now they slick. I get it. I get it. He said, uh, I noticed you got an Uber sticker. Mm-hmm. I said, I sure do. So, um, do you have commercial insurance? And I'm thinking, what the heck that got to do with anything? But I know what you're getting ready to do because Uber dude in Florida told me what, you know, through his video, what happened to him. And we talked about it on the phone. So I'm like, oh, you're getting ready to try to shake me down. That's what you think you're getting ready to do. So I said, um, no, I don't have commercial insurance. Uber has insurance. Oh, because there was a guy one time he wrecked his car and the adjuster came out here to look at it. And as soon as he saw that sticker, he said, nope, he couldn't cover it. I said, I'm not worried about that. He said, oh, okay, okay. Because now I'm thinking, what, you trying to put me on to your friend that's got, that has an insurance company? Get out of here with that. So I said, so back to my car. So you wasn't able to do the inspection. He said, no, because you're going to need two tires. I said, oh, okay, well, I won't be getting those today. He's still holding my car key. He's like, well, you know, I, they're pretty good, they're pretty good, pretty good shape. They're almost brand new, $40 a piece. I said, oh, okay. I said, how much is the car inspection? $40. I said, the car inspection is $40. The car inspection. You know where I get the, you used to get the sticker before I go register my car. The car inspection is $40. I said, what happened to it being $13 in Cabarrus County? Oh, well, uh, it's $40 because if you got, I see you got 10 on the windows and 10 is extra $10. I said, that's factory 10. Why do I have to pay extra $10 for factory 10? Well, because see, I noticed that factory 10 goes on the inside of a car window, but uh, your, your 10 is on the outside of the car window. And so they put that on there. I said, I don't think they put that on there because I bought that car with 12 miles on it. 12. I said, that's factory tent. All Nissan Versus have factory tent. Yeah, they just put that on there to sell it to you. But it's an extra $10. I said, so the car inspection is 30 Plus the factory, plus the tent is another 10 And you got two $40 tires in the back. A, a piece. He's like, yeah, still holding my key. I said, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I won't be getting that inspection today. I said, can I have my car key, please? I won't be getting an inspection today, and I'm going to take it back over to Nissan and ask them why they give me a car that says factory 10 in my book and on my paperwork, but you want to charge me $10 extra for it. So I'm just going to get my inspection over at Nissan since that's where I bought my car. I said, as for the tire, I do need one tire, so I'll buy one tire. Okay. 
he got, you know, he got to put the one tire on, and I was on my way. Well, yesterday, I was kind of pressed for time, because I, I got a busy, busy work schedule, so I was pressed for time. I said, Thaddeus, come over here with me, because you time I beat a hammer, that Thaddeus is the hammer. He'll call corporate on your butt in a minute. So I said, Thaddeus, go over here with me. So we go over there, Thaddeus is part, facing the door. We get on in there, and uh, he said, oh, hello. I said, hello, how are you this morning? He said, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. I said, I need to get um, that other tire, and I need a car inspection. And I'm just looking at him. He looked past me and saw Thaddeus sitting out there. Thaddeus sitting in the car like this, staring through the window. All right, so he sees Thaddeus. He says, all right. I said, I need to know how much that is, please. Uh, and I need a receipt. He was like, oh, okay. Uh, let me get your registration again, all that, all that. So he said, I didn't oh, see you this evening. I said, no, I need a receipt. I want to pay now, and I need a receipt for what you're charging me for. He said, oh, okay, yeah, 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 let me get that for you. He started doing something else. And I'm still waiting on my receipt for the tire and the inspection that I know shouldn't cost $40. It's only $13. Finally, he prints up my receipt after he said I'm not going anywhere. And that is sitting in the car staring daggers into the building. Give me my receipt. And he says, oh, um, I meant to tell you, that's only going to be $56 and some odd cent change. I said $56. I'm thinking to myself, that's a hell of a big difference than 120 yesterday. But today, with a receipt and a mail present, now it's $56. So I got my tire and the inspection. The inspection on the receipt was $13. Oh, he also asked me before he gave me that, uh, you got less than 60,000 miles on the car, right? I said, yes. Remember I told you that I just bought it in 16 and I bought it with 12 miles on it. It didn't even have 37,000 miles on it. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that's it, that means $56, and it was some change, I'm thinking it was like $0.04 cent or something like that, or $0.94, cent. it was close to $57, so I got my inspection, and I got my other tire, I wish they're really good tires, they are, but this man tried to get me for $120 yesterday, until I had a guy with me, so, um, and then tried to throw Uber in my face, I'm like, oh, you're gonna try to shake me down, not today, not the hammer, not today, you are the nail, sir, you are the nail today. That's how it worked out. Anyway, let me get on in here. That is in here yet. It's pocket space empty. I'm late. I'm not really late. I stay over a lot. I work a lot of extra time. I shouldn't be tired. I need to go celebrate my birthday. Not with my eulogy birthday cards. Hmm. My eulogy birthday cards. Who would have thunk it? That's all right. All right, let me get in here and get started. I got a lot to do. I have a lot to do. A lot to do. All right, you guys have a wonderful day. Again, prayer warriors, thank you so much for praying for all the people on my page on this channel. They're not only my friends, but they're also your friends. Look for my video about the um, the dash cam today. I'm going to try and um, try to put it together because I don't edit. So I got to figure out how to edit and how to give them you know, what they ask me for two months ago they were so gracious to give me the camera to do a review and i have been so super busy i haven't had time so um i'm gonna get on it here in a little bit i bought all my stuff to work so i can work on it because it's similar to the camera system we have here on the uh, buses so i do want to talk about it all right i'll talk to you guys later and um have a good day at work for those of you at home Watch all my videos. Share them. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I need these numbers to grow. I don't need them to grow, but I like for them to grow. I like for them to grow. So if you guys can subscribe, tell your friends about the channel that you think may enjoy my humor. Oh, another thing. Um, I'm thinking about practicing something. Somebody told me that my videos are too long. So if you guys think my videos are too long, or it takes me too long to get through the story, put it in the comments below. I was told to shorten them to two minutes. I don't know how I can shorten my videos down to two minutes. That's just not me. That's not the nature of my videos. But if it'll get me more subscribers, we'll see. So let me know. Should I shorten the videos or should I keep them? Keep doing it like I'm doing it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.